One of the frustrating features of using artificial intelligence is that you get a great looking design, but it's not very big. When I save this design, I'm going to click the little save button here. I'll notice that the design is 960 pixels by 1568 pixels. And when I click on the properties in Windows Explorer, it's only 96 DPI. Now I'm not going to be able to change the 96 DPI, but I can use an upscaler to make this design a bit bigger. So the website that I like to use is called IMG2Go, image2go.com. And on the left hand side, there's an upscale image and it uses artificial intelligence to make the image larger. It's a little bit clunky interface here, so I'm going to walk through how this works. You drop the files at the top, so you're just going to click choose file right there. We can see here it's starting to work below. You'll see the image pop up. Now you won't actually see the actual picture, but you'll see the file. And now below we're going to see an option here to scale up two times or four times. I'm going to select four times and then the target format where it says auto, I'm going to select JPEG and I'll click start. I've run this a bunch. It typically takes anywhere between 15 seconds and two minutes to run. So if it's taking a little bit longer than you're expecting, don't worry. Maybe just grab a quick cup of coffee and see what happens. Okay, so this one took about 15 seconds to run and you'll see it says here your converted file, but you can't actually see it. So what you'll do now is just download the file. It's over here on the right hand side. Now you can download a zip file as well, but I'm just, I've only got one file. So I'm just going to download it right there. It'll give me the option now to save the exact same file name. I'll click save file. And then I'll just put it in the same folder, but I'm going to type it in as big. And that's going to make the file name a bit different. I'll click save. From here, we're going to see that the original image is 960 by 1568. It's 496 kilobytes. The other image now is quite a bit larger, seven times larger in file size, and it's 3840 by 6272. That's quite a bit larger. I'm going to open up the first image. This is the regular sized image. And when I scale it up to 100%, there it is. That's 100% zoomed, so it's not taking up the full screen. When I open up the larger image and I go to 100%, there's the image. So it's quite a bit larger and using artificial intelligence it's filling in the gaps. So it's hopefully, if this all goes well, it's not looking as pixelated and it makes the image quite a bit better in actual terms of quality. Now I'm going to upload this one more time. So I'm going to go here to the top left, the image to go logo. I'm going to go to upscale image. I'm going to select the same image as before but I'm going to select the big image this time. Okay, now the large image is selected. I'm going to scale it up four times again. JPEG, click start. Okay, and we've got the converted file. Now this one took well over five minutes to convert. So it's obviously doing something. It's not just resizing. I'm going to click download. You can see it's quite large file size. And now I'm going to save the file size as big two. And we can see here in the top right, it's starting to save it. It's quite a large file. It's 29.1 megabytes and it does take time to download from the website. So just take your time when you're doing this. Okay, so let's see how big we got it here. So the first one was 960 by 1568. The upscaled image was 3840 by 6272. This one, the final one, is 15,360 by 25,088. Now when I click on properties, it is still 96 DPI. However, the file size is so large that it certainly would be reasonable to think it would look good on a t-shirt or a fine art print. This is 20%. This is 44%. I'm not even at 100% yet. There's 100%. And we can see it's actually quite clear and it goes all the way up even more from that. So it's quite a large image. I would highly recommend checking this out. It's completely free by the way. This website is called img2go.com and it's got an upscale image right there. Check it out. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital crafting skills and have some fun doing it.